it's running out and it's not even clean. This is just one of several waterways running through Pakistan's capital choked with filth. Years of mismanagement and pollution have left Pakistan the third most water-stressed country in the world. If the, the situation uh, remains the same, our water sources uh, overall uh, re remain the same, and the population keeps on increasing, urbanization and the other, uh, other activities keep on increasing, definitely a time will come there when there will be a crisis. More than two-thirds of households drink contaminated water. And every year, 53,000 children die of diarrhea because of it. Cases of typhoid, cholera and hepatitis are rampant. I estimate that uh, at least 30 percent of the beds are occupied at any hospital at any given time by waterborne disease due to contaminated water. Rawal Lake is the main sources of drinking water for Islamabad, but it receives the bulk of untreated sewage and other wastewater, all due to a lack of infrastructure. It has a huge social and economical burden, there is no doubt about it. And unfortunately, the successive governments in Pakistan, whether it was a military government or a democratic government, must say water has never been a priority for these governments. The only source of clean drinking water in Islamabad are at these plants. But even here, the quality is questionable. We trust it because at least it is filtered and our children are not getting sick. It is good to drink. My children have diarrhea every day when we use drinking water from there. This water is better than that. As with many countries in the developing world, the government's been unable to manage dwindling basic resources such as water. For Pakistanis, just being able to turn on the tap and get clean water is a luxury they can only dream about. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.